Unleash the hacker within top three apps to turn your phone into a cybersecurity powerhouse. Yo, what's up everyone, it's Linus and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of mobile hacking. Now before you hit that unsubscribe button, hear me out. We're not talking about anything illegal here, alright? This is all about ethical hacking and cybersecurity, and honestly, the things your phone can do are pretty insane. We're going to explore the tools and techniques that professionals use to test and secure networks, all from the palm of your hand. In this video, we'll be looking at three powerful apps that can turn your Android phone into a hacking supercomputer, Termux, Androrat, and Zonti. But with great power comes great responsibility, right? So stick around because we'll be talking about the ethical implications of using these tools and how to make sure you're staying on the right side of the law. Trust me, you don't want to mess with that. This is going to be a deep dive, so grab your favorite drink, get comfortable, and let's get started. Oh, and before we jump in, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future cybersecurity content. Let's go. Termux, your pocket-sized Linux powerhouse first up, we've got Termux. Now, if you're even remotely interested in cybersecurity or ethical hacking, you've probably heard of Linux. It's like the holy grail of operating systems for this stuff, and for good reason. But who wants to carry around a whole separate computer just to run Linux, right? That's where Termux comes in. It's basically a Linux terminal emulator that runs right on your Android phone. Think of it as a way to bring all the power and flexibility of Linux to your pocket. You can install it directly from the Play Store, and once it's up and running, it's like having a mini Linux computer right there on your phone. No, seriously, it feels like magic. You get access to a full-blown command line interface, and you can install all sorts of powerful tools and packages just like you would on a regular Linux machine. So, what can you actually do with Termux? Well, pretty much anything you can do with a regular Linux terminal. Want to run penetration testing tools like Nmap, to scan for vulnerabilities on your network, Termux can handle it. How about using Metasploit, the infamous penetration testing framework? Yeah, Termux can do that too. You can even code in Python, write scripts, and basically turn your phone into a hacking Swiss army knife. But here's the thing about Termux that really makes it stand out. Customization, you can tweak and configure it to your heart's content. You can change the shell, install different packages, and basically create the perfect hacking environment for your needs. It's like having a custom-built hacking rig, but instead of a bulky tower, it fits right in your pocket. Now let's talk practicality. I know what you're thinking. This all sounds cool, but is it really that useful? And honestly, yeah, it is. Imagine you're on the go and you need to quickly test the security of a Wi-Fi network. Just whip out your phone, fire up Termux, and you're good to go. It's like having a portable security lab at your fingertips. But let's keep it real for a second. Termux does have its limitations. You're not going to be running super resource-intensive tasks on your phone, and it's not going to replace a full-fledged Linux machine for serious hacking endeavors. But as a tool for learning, experimenting, and doing some light penetration testing on the go, it's an absolute game-changer. There are other terminal emulators out there for Android, but for me, Termux just hits different. It's the perfect balance of power, flexibility, and ease of use. Plus, the community behind it is amazing. If you ever run into any issues or have questions, there's a ton of support available online. Androrat, the double-edged sword of remote access. All right, moving on to something a little more serious. Let's talk about Androrat. Now, this one's a bit of a touchy subject, so listen up closely. Androrat stands for Android Remote Administration Tool, and as the name suggests, it allows you to remotely control an Android device. I'm talking full-on access here monitoring text messages, accessing the camera, even controlling the device itself. Sounds kind of scary, right? Well, it can be. And that's why it's super important to understand the ethical implications before we even think about using it. Androrat and tools like it can be incredibly dangerous in the wrong hands. We're talking about the potential for some serious privacy violations here. Think about it. Someone could use this to spy on their partner, steal sensitive information, or even remotely control someone's device without their knowledge or consent. That's messed up, right? That's why I can't stress this enough. Use this tool responsibly and ethically. It's crucial to only use Androrat on devices that you own or have explicit permission to access. We're not about to become black hat hackers here, all right? So how does Androrat actually work? Well, it involves setting up a server and a client. 
The server runs on your computer and the client is installed on the target Android device. Once connected, you have a whole range of options at your fingertips. You can monitor calls, track GPS location, access files, and even control the device's camera and microphone. Now, before you get any ideas, remember what we talked about earlier. This tool is for educational purposes only. It's about understanding how these kinds of attacks work so we can better protect ourselves and our data. Never use it for any illegal or unethical activities. Compared to other remote administration tools, Androrat is known for being relatively easy to use, but that doesn't mean it's any less powerful. In fact, its simplicity is part of what makes it so concerning. It's a stark reminder that powerful tools can fall into the wrong hands and it highlights the importance of cybersecurity awareness and ethical hacking practices. Chapter 3. Zanti, Your Network's Worst Nightmare or Best Friend All right, last but not least, let's talk about Zanti. This one's a personal favorite of mine and it's a must-have for anyone serious about mobile penetration testing. Zanti is a toolkit developed by Zimperium, a mobile security company, and it's jam-packed with features that let you simulate real-world attacks to identify vulnerabilities in your network. Think of it like this. Zanti is like having a team of ethical hackers at your disposal, ready to poke and prod your network to find those weak points before the bad guys do. And trust me, it's way better to find those vulnerabilities yourself than to have someone exploit them against you. One of the coolest things about Zanti is its ease of use. It's got a really intuitive interface that makes it simple to launch various attacks. We're talking about man-in-the-middle attacks, password cracking, network mapping, you name it, Zanti can probably do it. It's like having a whole arsenal of hacking tools at your fingertips, but without the need for complex command line interfaces or years of cybersecurity experience. But here's the thing that really sets Zanti apart. It's not just about launching attacks. It also provides you with detailed reports and analysis of the results. So you're not just blindly launching attacks and hoping for the best. Zanti gives you the insights you need to understand the vulnerabilities it finds and more importantly, how to fix them. Let's talk about some of the specific modules that make Zanti so powerful. First up, we've got the man in the middle attack framework. This allows you to intercept and analyze network traffic between devices, which can be incredibly useful for identifying vulnerabilities and understanding how data flows across your network. Then there's the vulnerability scanner, which does exactly what it sounds like. It scans your network for known vulnerabilities in devices and software. This is crucial for staying ahead of the curve and patching those security holes before someone else can exploit them. And let's not forget about the network mapping module. This gives you a visual representation of all the devices connected to your network, which can be super helpful for identifying rogue devices or unauthorized connections. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds incredibly powerful, but is it legal? And that's a valid question. Just like with any other hacking tool, the legality of using Zanti depends on how you're using it. It's crucial to only use Zanti on networks that you own or have explicit permission to test. Unauthorized network testing is illegal and can land you in some serious hot water, so please be responsible, be ethical, and always get permission before running any kind of security tests on a network. Level up your cybersecurity game. So there you have it, guys. Those are just three of the many powerful apps that can turn your Android phone into a hacking supercomputer. We've covered Termux, your pocket-sized Linux terminal emulator, Androrat, the remote administration tool that highlights the importance of ethical hacking, and Zanti, the mobile penetration testing toolkit that can help you find and fix vulnerabilities in your network. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These tools are incredibly powerful, and it's crucial to use them ethically and legally. Only use them on devices or networks that you own or have explicit permission to access. If you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity and ethical hacking, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. And let me know in the comments which app you found the most interesting or useful. I'm always looking for new ideas for future videos, so feel free to drop your suggestions down below.